All right, so here at the new storage facility, haven't done business with them yet. Um, I already paid them my deposit, talked to them, got all the paperwork done. And uh, my clean out time was 48 hours, but because of the rain, they were nice enough to give me 72 hours. So it's a great credit to them. Summit Peak Self Storage here in Midwest City. So just know that their customer service is great if you decide to use them. You know, so got to give them props for that. But anyways, here it is. $10 for this unit. $100 cleaning deposit, which I'll get back. And it's not extravagant. But for 10 bucks, I wasn't expecting that. But it was just an easy unit. And my first auction pick got canceled. So this was next in line for me. And as you can see, there's some decent amount of stuff in here that warrants 10 bucks. You got a treadmill, elliptical, coffee table, or end table, whatever that is, nightstand. Uh, another coffee table right there. CRTV, these are kind of a pain in the butt to get rid of, but because it's small, it may be able to be sold on eBay. The shipping won't be too bad, and there's gamers out there that still like stuff like that. Uh, futon mattress, it looks like. Uh, that might be trash, we'll see. Uh, shelving, a spider, it looks like. Three spider. Uh, I think that's either shelving or goes to a bedroom suit. Maybe there's a dresser back here or something like that. I haven't seen. A uh, little girl's table. Another dining table maybe or end table. Uh, and just random stuff. Nothing in too particular. This couch will be a problem because of the rain. It doesn't look like it's going to be too nice. But if it stops raining, I'll take it back. If not, I'm not going to pay a storage fee just to hold it. And just take it straight out to the dump and haul it through the rain. But we'll see how that goes. If the rain left up tomorrow, I'll take it back. If not, we'll just get rid of it. There's plenty of other stuff in here to make my money back, plus more. Um, this was pretty nice back here. A stationary bike, it looks like. Nordic Track, so not the best brand, but still, it's a stationary bike. Easy 50 bucks, if it works right. Uh, plus this treadmill is another 30, if it works all right. You know, and then a little stuffed monkey, I might just give that away to somebody. You know, it probably would sell for a good 15, but still, I like giving stuff like that away. But for the most part, that's the gist of it. I haven't gone through the boxes yet. It looks like it's mostly going to be book clothes, random small stuff. You know, maybe we'll find some gaming gear or something like that. A couple of Bibles in there. Uh, kitchen wear, bathroom wares. Looks like there's going to be appliances in here. Oh, is a candle warmer? It looks breakable, so I'm not trying to... A little teapot. I don't like messing around and all that stuff with one hand, because it might break something that's of value. Uh, for the most part, I think you got what, a desk or a coffee table or something down there. I'll have to look at that more thoroughly. Shelving. Uh, but for the most part, pretty straightforward unit. Not too many surprises. Uh, more kitchen stuff, an American flag, wine bottle. Uh, yeah, that's the gist of it. That's what happens when you get a unit. You, know, you go through the motions, come to a place like this, go and deal with the storage people. Come out here, I brought my own lock. Not every facility will allow you to use your own lock, but most of them do. And for the most part, like I said, three days to get it out. It's raining right now, so I'm going to try to get as much work done as possible. But it's a little 10 by 10 unit. They don't even utilize all the space. So it'll be easy money. But we'll see how it goes. Later.